So I recently read uh, that we've been pronouncing Rihanna's name wrong. Do you have any idea how many times I've had to deal with that? I've been called everything but my actual name during my time here in America. Uh -uh. To tell you the truth, I don't even remember how I got my actual pronunciation. Well, actually, yes, I do. Like, there's the American way of saying it, and then there's the correct ethnic way. So the correct real way to say is Fahrudin. The American way is Fahrudin. And if you notice the little hand gesture, it just comes with the explanation because I've had to do it so many times. It's just a reflex at this point. So what's your name, pal? It's Farudin. Why? Why the hand? Why the hand? What are you, what are you, what are you doing with your hand there? Leave me alone. So by and large, Rihanna, Rihanna, Riri, whatever you want to call her, is not that difficult to say to anybody with two functioning brain cells to rub together. But it's okay, because I'm pretty sure that gives you enough reason to complain about it anyway, because why would you not do that? It's not like you don't already have everything you have to do. So as far as the way I got my pronunciation, I was in second grade and I was leaving class and, sounds like my other video, cool, yeah, repeat. And I forgot my backpack, book, I'm making all this up anyway. And the teacher goes, wait, whose is this? And this girl named Charity, who I was hardcore crushing on at the time, she goes, oh, that's Farudin's. And I'm just like, all right, I guess that's who I am now until forever. Every single time I had homework and I would have to type in a paper for an essay, a personal narrative, whatever, you know, we all have to do them. The very first thing that you do is you type in your name, your date, the class, whatever. And little smart ass Microsoft Bill Gates over here goes, did you um mean Ferdinand? No, I didn't fucking mean Ferdinand. Sorry. It just, it just gets a little passionate sometimes in here, okay? <laughs> Every time you go to a gift shop somewhere, guess what? There's no Fahruddin on the fucking keychains. Do you know how it feels to a little kid growing up that you are never, that every single person in your class can get a fucking keychain. Some of my worst days were when there was a substitute teacher in class. Because at least the normal teacher, you know, she will get your name right eventually. Of course she's not gonna get it right away because why would she? And then she would proceed to get it right throughout the rest of the year. But, but, sometimes she would go on vacation. And obviously they would have to fill her role in with another supplementary human being. I absolutely hated this because if you attended any school Ever, you will notice that the very first thing that they do is take attendance. Alexis, okay. Mark, got it. And that right there when they did the, well, we all know who's up next, don't we? I look around and all my classmates are just, oh man, here we go. Here we go, what's it gonna be? It's like they all just collectively turn into the hype man from a rap video. Farquad. You know what? Fuck it. Just go ahead and put the Lord in front of there. Get the whole thing on a spoon. I've also gotten F. Fuck it. Just F. Could less effort be put into learning about another human being? So listen, um, sexy boy in the back. Your name's like really difficult to say, so I'm just gonna call you by your first letter. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, cool. Jonathan? Just, just think about the logic behind that. Can we just like call him B? Because that would be so... Farquin? Where do you see a Q, Coach Nichols? Where? So over time, you just kind of learn that they're not gonna get it right. You're giving these people way too much credit if you think otherwise. So now what I do is I just lie. And it's amazing. The messed up thing is that people then sometimes want to know more. So then you obviously gotta make up another lie to compensate for this lie. I went to the dentist one time. As the lady's working on my teeth, she, um, you know, she asked for my name and I told her, and then she asked what I do, and I was like, you know what, let's play a little game here. I said, I am the lead designer at the men's fashion department at Louis Vuitton. <laughs> she asked me every like 10 seconds, are you doing okay, sweetie? My service was phenomenal that day. It was just hospitality on another level, and I strongly encourage you to try this out sometime. I used to be a Roberto. If I'm more like somewhere in the country, I'll choose like Bob or John. Lately, I've just been using Miguel for some reason. And the thing is like, when I tell that to people, they, they can tell that I'm not really Hispanic looking. So their next uh, conclusion, oh, he's gotta be from Italy. Oh, his, his name is Miguel? Well, okay, kinda like that. Suits him. 
The reason any of this even started was because of college and having to be drug out to different places slash circumstances that I didn't want to be in. I would have to go to stupid parties and everybody just like, I hate drunk people. Why, why don't you drink? Oh my god. I, I uh, assume we all have personal choice in this life. Something to do with it. No, you, here, put this in your face. You, like, you love it. I never understood why people drink. Like, just the taste of beer itself. No, you're just trying the wrong kind. Here, try this one. This tastes like blue drink and Windex. Well, no, see, like, it's an acquired taste. Yeah, so is bleach if you do it long enough. Everybody was telling this guy, hey, this is murder. No, it's an acquired hobby. You're so boring. You're different, so I have to attack you because I'm not used to that. So I would be at some party or something and, you know, you obviously have to introduce yourself to other people. And me, being the stupid idiot that I was, I would make the mistake of using my actual name. So, what's your name? Oh. Hello, um, it's Farudin. Wait, what? Ah, oh, fuck, here we go. Farudin. That's not your real name, silly. No, actually it is, you know, since I was born in legal documents and stuff. What? Wait, wait. Susie, come over here. Oh my god, get away from him. He mistreated you last time. You never learned your lesson. Just, just come here for like five seconds. You got... You gotta look at this guy's name. I don't really think you look at somebody's name. Okay, like, just like stand there. Can you stand there? Are you okay to stand? Okay, can you like tell her what you told me? It's, it's for Rudin. Fa? You know what? Fuck it, it's Bob. Tell everybody. Matter of fact. So I'm sorry, Rihanna. I can only imagine what you've been going through lately.